Hi YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. I'm Jacob Graham and I'm here to talk for Unix Soldier, which is the name of my channel. And today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of Windows Server 2012. So the first thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is how much more effort it was to install Active Directory. It seems that you have to do a little bit of scripting to get Active Directory installed in 2012. And you know, as a 2008 guy, in 2003, I found it really difficult. There was no DC promo command that's been taken out of Server 2012. And in this place is, for all I can see, a basic button that you press, which sends a command through PowerShell back down to the computer to elevate the domain controller. So that kind of bugged me. But the big thing that really bugged me about uh, Windows Server 2012 is that they brought in the whole Metro interface or you know the new start menu, whatever they're calling it. They call it the new Metro interface, but it's also called the start menu. If you look, you can pin stuff to start and they pop up in your Metro interface. But I absolutely hate it. Um, I can't find anything. Um, I mean, I could find things, but I'm used to Windows Server 2008, so finding everything is annoying. It's pretty much like a server made for PowerShell people. And I say PowerShell people because I'm not too strong with coding, so for me, this whole operating system has been a nightmare. But I did the script thing, and I've got Active Directory installed, and uh, I also synced it up and integrated it with Spiceworks, so now I have a public uh, website all ready to go for taking tickets for customers. It's all hooked up to Active Directory, so I just need to make them Active Directory accounts. Once they have those accounts, they can make tickets on my 2012 server. The only thing I need left is a uh, SSL certificate, or my customers think that the site's not trusted, because that's what the browser, browser tells them. Um, which it could be. For all you know, this website is stealing your stuff. But anyway. Because it could. That's that's what happens. That's why you need a root CA to give you an SSL certificate. And I can make my own, but I don't have eight servers lying around. You know, four subordinate and four other root CAs. It's not really a good idea. But anyway, I digress on that. So Server 2012 is a lot faster than Server 2008. Um, but it's really annoying to use. The interface is clunky. Um, you need to run certain commands in order to... Um, I forget what they called it because I've just been learning 2012. But basically, you need to make it so it does a handshake. And this handshake it has to do is multi-computer. So basically, you have to code it so that it knows when a DNS goes from, when a command with your credentials, your domain admin credentials, goes from one computer to the next computer, um, it's not going to listen to, the second computer's not going to listen to your domain credentials. Because it's not like 2008 where everything just worked like that. Um, you actually need to do some scripting to make it work like that, which I thought was really annoying. So that was another reason I really didn't like it. Uh, there's so many new features of Server 2012, and I'm still learning all the new ones for 2008 because there's just so many. And I really feel like you know they're going to keep pumping out these OSs before I can fully understand them all. Um, yeah, so I'm really not too happy with Server 2012. Um, I've got a key for it, so I've got a legal key and. I'm going to be using it for my business, but I'm really not too happy for it with it. I think 2008 is a much better system. Uh, but let, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think? Have you guys tried Server 2012? Um, what do you think of it compared to Server 2008? And what would you like to see differently if Microsoft were to redo the redo, to redo the, uh, the network operating system? So tell me what you guys think. Comment and subscribe. And thanks, guys. Later.